Well, hey folks, this is Bert coming live down the basement at my residence for now. I'm just kicking it, doing some laundry, you know, doing some stuff. Sometimes you get some ghost activity down here. I posted a video before about it, but you know what I'm talking about. I'd probably have to be down here for a while, keep the video going. I'm just down here doing laundry, you know, maybe getting a, some kind of craziness happening down here or something. You gotta come down in the middle of the night, really. But because of how spooky it is with all the activity and stuff, I only come down if needed, you know. But I suppose if y'all really want to check it out sometime, I'll come down here in the middle of the night, you know. I'll show you guys what it's really about. I try to tell this person I know that it was late at night, and I was like, they're calling you downstairs, they're telling me. And I was kind of hoping that that person would go downstairs because they're kind of a doubter, doubt and Thomas type of person i was kind of hoping they would like take a peek take a look around you know if you don't believe you should listen to the people who can tell you guide you in the direction in which you need to be to find out the truth of what i'm talking about because there's a lot of activity down here folks i've been in this place for a long time <laughs> longer than i wanted to but you know i'm sitting down here Gonna put some laundry in and whatnot. Here it is. Sitting at the old laundry machine. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I wish something would happen sometimes. Last time something was going down, there was like bags were rustling down here by themselves. Something fell. I was like, what's that? That's clearly an example. Even though right now, I feel like I'm kind of being watched. And I keep getting the chills down my back because I'm talking about them. You know. But it'd be interesting who it is, because it's been here since forever and a day, like I said. Might be a trap somebody. I hope not. Because if I leave, I'm going to try to untrap them. For now, I just figure maybe they want to stay by me. I don't know. Maybe they like my company. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this machine gun on over here. I got to put a blanket in the dryer. Maybe start a little load. Maybe. Probably, I don't know. And then, you know, probably maybe think about watching some YouTube. You know, you know how I does it. You know how I does it. I does it all the time. I like watching stuff, all kinds of stuff. I like watching scary videos. I like watching police videos, but not for the police, though. Don't get me wrong. Them, them mean gun toting killers are nothing nice. But uh, I also like watching the news and alternative news. And sometimes I like to watch a little bit like a documentary or something. As long as it's really, you know, entertaining. I don't want to watch it just to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm in the wrong place in my life. And somebody's done sabotage me years ago. But because I know Jesus Christ, I go ahead and keep living. You know what I mean? Because no matter who's in the way or what's happening, I know God's going to go ahead and handle it. So all I got to do is kick back, do me, make sure I'm talking to you about all the good things in the world. And hopefully, things will start looking better. You just never know. Sometimes they don't look so hot. But don't you worry about that. Because I know exactly what I'm telling you is the truth. I've been there. I done seen it. And it's not as spooky as you think. It's kind of like peaceful. You know. I mean, all I was was around a bunch of people in a crowded like bar maybe or some kind of lounge. All the lights were off and stuff. And only a couple of lights over tables were going. You know. A lot of smokers. Everybody was smoking. But I think that's dealing with, like, someone's telling me about my own bad habit. Like, I'm supposed to not smoke, you know. And they're trying to say, this is what's going to kill you, bro, if you don't stop. And I think about that all the time. But it's such a bad habit. So I guess, you know, I hope you all have faith. I hope you believe. Because there's no way I'd deceive you. Nah, no way. Wouldn't be nothing to it. Don't want to fool you. Don't want to lie to you. Even when I'm not being myself. 
I'm trying to entertain you. I'm trying to give you something fun, you know. Because well, I guess that's why I talk like myself. <laughs> People might not be as entertained, but I still like to put on a show. Yes, but I'll be kicking back anyways and chilling. You know, I sometimes feel like I need to get on like some kind of TV show, like comedy or something, you know, but probably not for me anyways, because I'm more of a basement kind of entertainment type of person. I kind of believe like entertaining people is what I do, but I don't need to get paid. I'd like to get paid for it. But, you know, I try to cheer you up. I try to make you smile. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes I feel like a nut. <laughs> but that's all right. This is all right. That's why you go ahead and get you a bowl of cereal and you feel right again, you know? You feel all nutty. Well, I'm cooking here in a cook ball in a cook factory. Some cheese and wheeze. Well, I suppose I should say howdy duty. Until later, folks. I don't like making these videos too long. I suppose there's something going on besides the goofy bastard standing on his basement talking on a video. Maybe you might be more interested in checking it out. But until that day comes where I get a little more action, I'm just going to give you what I can give you. So, y'all folks have a great day and a good night. Hopefully you get some good rest, too. I'll be talking to you.